If you're looking for effective mid-journey prompts, then the following resources are gonna help you to create some better images using mid-journey. The first resource is promptlibrary.org, where you can essentially go through and find an image and view the prompt from it so that you can change it or try it for yourself. Or you can come up to the top here to search, add something you're searching for, like future, something futuristic, hit enter, and I get some cool examples of futuristic imagery. Maybe I like this one here. I can come down here and essentially take this prompt, pop it into mid-journey. I can even change some of the details, hit enter, and I get some pretty cool images in a futuristic manga style. Next is artprompter.co. This is super simple. You basically go to artprompter.co, choose a medium you'd like to see, then also select a style, and then you come down to add any elements, hitting enter to add them in, click generate prompts, and it will generate a unique prompt for you to try mid-journey. Hit the copy symbol, and you can create some images just like these ones on screen right here and Hello Tars chatbots. You can visit either one of these chatbots, have a little bit of a conversation with the Midjourney Assistant. It'll ask you a few questions and generate some prompts that you can try in Midjourney. And using this first Midjourney Assistant, I was able to generate some images by copying this prompt. And this is what I got, which I thought was very stylized. However, I moved on to the mascot logo AI chat, answered a few more questions, and I was able to generate this puppy mascot logo for a dog cleaning business, which I thought was pretty cool. But I also want to mention Emi Prompt, which I've covered in the past, essentially is a prompt builder, prompt generator, you can go through and find different styles, different keywords and like a visual reference and add bits and pieces to a stack on the left and essentially build a prompt for you to try in mid journey. When done, come up to the top left, hit the copy button and paste your prompt into mid journey to see what images you can get. But if you're looking for something similar to Emi Prompt, but a little bit different, there's Promptog which is a different platform which allows you to, again, build a prompt using options on the left and on the right. You have this nice area where you can reorganize things and then simply copy your prompt, pop it into mid-journey and see what results you can get. And just remember with any of these tools, you can simply copy the prompts, you can change the prompts, or you can look deep into them and see what phrases you think could be worth trying in future prompts of your own. Now, if you haven't already, check out my Mid-Journey Style Pack. Over a thousand styles you can apply to your Mid-Journey prompts to get some pretty stunning images. It comes with a handful of PDFs of different styles and categories so you can quickly find what you're after. Or check out my in-depth comprehensive Mid-Journey course. Links for both of these will be in the description below. The next resource to find some really awesome prompts is actually Facebook groups. I'm gonna leave some links down below, but a lot of these groups have people sharing their images and their prompts in the description. So you can actually check out what other people are creating and look at their prompts, copy them, change them, try them for yourself, and even find little hidden gems in their phrases and prompts that you can use. Now you can just simply search Facebook for things like Mid Journey Prompt Share and get a few recommendations. You can also search for Mid Journey Prompts and find more there. But I'll link to three groups below that you can check out. One of the best resources out there is freeflow.ai. Straight away, you see here we have styles, SRF codes, photos, illustrations. We can also scroll down to find something here that we like. And with any of these, we can click on an image, explore that gallery a little bit further. Then we come over to the right here and we can copy the prompt. Again, we paste, we can change some of it around, try to create something different and unique from the information we find. But again, you might be interested in checking out their SRF codes. You can scroll down and find a style you like, and the code is listed underneath and you can copy it here. But you can also check out photo styles and explore these photo prompts the same as before or even illustrations to find some cool illustration styles to try in your prompts. And as before, I can see the prompt here and copy it, try it out for myself. But don't forget about the hashtag prompt share on X. So when you're on X, all you do is come up the top here, type in hashtag prompt share, check out the hashtag, and you'll find people sharing images and prompts from all sorts of platforms, not just mid-journey. Here's a good one here. I click on that, copy the prompt, and I get these images just by simply submitting that prompt into mid-journey. But next is the Will Wolfkins styles page. So this is a GitHub page which has an index of styles that you can try. So you can come down here and see there's design styles, drawing arts and mediums. I can go to something like geography and culture, and you can see what they look like on a few of the different models. They haven't updated for version six, but I go V5 alpha, come down, I can try countries and nations, and you can explore some different styles from there. 
But essentially you can go through and check out all of the different categories and the different styles on this page and it will give you some visual references. So you can try them out in your prompts and it's actually a very, very in-depth resource of styles and just general phrases that you can use in your mid-journey prompts. You can also try prompt base, which is if you're looking for premium prompts, there is a marketplace you can go to to search for prompts that you can buy. I come down to organic mutations, and for $6, I can get prompts that create images like these ones on screen here. This also means you can sell prompts here if you want to, but there's also prompts for things like Dali and Stable Diffusion. There's a ma massive marketplace here of prompts that you can buy pretty easily. Also, Neoprompt is another very expansive website that you can explore for prompts. For one, you can just come straight down here and choose one of these prompts over here, or you can actually filter by category over on the left here. So if I came down to something like fantasy, I can find some cool prompts by simply scrolling down and looking for something unique, such as this here. I can copy this prompt and I get an image just like this when I pop it into mid-journey. So that's another really great platform for exploring and finding some very different prompts. But also don't neglect the mid-journey website. Now, the first one you're probably gonna look at is one of the more obvious ones, which is the explore page, but there's also some other areas here too. But on the explore page, if I find a prompt I like or an image such as this painting image, here I get the image, over here I get the prompt as well as the versions used and if I want to I can come down here and click use prompt and it will pop the prompt into the prompt bar so I can start creating. But on top of that you don't actually have to start creating straight away. We can scroll down look for something else such as this image here. It's a pretty nifty effect and for one I can hit the little heart symbol here to like that image, come back, go to the top of the screen and where it says likes here, I can click on that and review the images that I've liked. So there's some really cool images here from other mid-journey users that I've found it really cool. So you can actually, over time, go through, find images you like, and then just come back to this page if you want to try them out for yourself. But also don't forget, if we go back to explore and go back to hot, if I click on some of these images, you can see here, not just the prompt, but the style reference. You can see there's a couple of different style references here that they've listed the personalized codes, you have access to every single little parameter. So that way you can explore other areas, not just the prompt itself. But don't forget to come down here, you've also got chat. And these various areas here, you can see under general chaos, what other people are creating. You can see the prompt here and essentially click on an image. And you have all of the same options. And again, prompt craft. Again, we can find different prompts here to try daily theme and a daily theme there is a theme that people are prompting for so you get to explore that as well and then of course under newbies you got newbie rooms where people are prompting there also but on top of that if i come over here to tasks and if i choose any of these like uh rank image aesthetics or cure community front page i can come in here click start teaching and so far even straight away this image i like there's a prompt right here that I can try. And I've actually found some pretty good prompts off this area that I've tried for myself. Another powerful website is how to leverage AI. So when you go to the how to leverage AI website under more here, you'll notice you've got things like the Big Journey prompt generator, other prompt generators, sticker prompt generator, coloring book prompt generator. If I go to prompt generators here, if I scroll down, you see there's a random prompt generator. The stickers, the same ones we mentioned, all here on that page. So the coloring book generator, you can use any of these to generate some images. The random prompt generator is pretty cool. I click use generator, scroll down, something like a rabbit warrior. I'm gonna go 16 to nine, generate styles. And it creates some random styles here that you can try. Copy the prompt, paste it into your prompt bar. You can see we've got some pretty nifty images of a rabbit warrior, somber, city pop, flexography, and we get some really cool different phrases in our prompt that we can try. Now you can also use ChatGPT with a little bit of creativity to get some cool prompts. For example, I can message ChatGPT and just simply say, write four mid-journey prompts for me to get a detailed and dramatic image of a man made out of cheese. I submit. And these days, ChatGPT is able to come up with prompts pretty easily simply by asking a basic question. So I copy this prompt and I'm able to create some very unique images from that prompt that look just like this. But coming back, it doesn't just stop there. I can also ask it for certain ideas such as list 10 very unique and striking visual art styles and it will actually give me several different styles that I can experiment with. So I take pointillism, 
copy. I type in a dog wearing sunglasses, comma, pointillism, hit enter, and you get some very unique imagery that way. And the more creative your questions, the more unique the answers you can get from ChatGPT. And there are literally no limitations to what this platform can deliver for you. Next is Prompt Hero. Now this website has a series of images and prompts that you can explore. I can head up to the mid journey section here. I can search for an image or a style, or I can just come down to see what they have below, such as this here. I get the image, I get the prompt, and I can also select various areas of the prompt, or I can copy the whole thing. And when I pop that in the mid journey, again, I can create some pretty unique images. But again, I can head back, scroll up to the top, type in something like abstract, scroll down, and there's some different abstract style prompts. So I again, choose this one, copy. I paste it into my prompt bar. Instead of Asian women, maybe I change that to Cyborg Samurai. I hit enter. And once again, I'm able to generate some very unique images that have a very cool style added to them. But there's also my styles playlist, which is here on YouTube. So you can see here, we've got a range of different videos with different styles. Some of them are based around a particular topic. Some of them are just a random styles or a compilation of different styles I've discovered and others are viewer submitted. So check that out. There'll be a link in the description. I'll also pop a card at the end of this video. And also while you're there, don't forget to check out where you can find different style codes using the video on the screen right now as well. Otherwise, thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, hope to see you again next time. Have a great day.